announcements are listed within the bulletin and because God continues to bless us we have so much going on in the life of the church um, I do want to announce that June 5th through the 8th uh, three from the church will be at annual conference uh, which is held at Lake Judaluska North Carolina uh, uh, Christy Smith will be going to represent our district Alberta Mitchell will be going to represent Trinity United Methodist Church and I will be going as a clergy member so we ask for your prayers as we travel and as we meet also our change for children campaign ends this Sunday if you have any loose change you can place your change in the buckets that's to my left and to my right and all donations received will go towards grants and ministries for children in our area. Also, uh, I'm grateful uh, from the baptisms that we celebrated two weeks ago. And I wanna say thank you all for celebrating and for attending the baptisms of Mason and Daniel. Uh, I, we were so pleased to see so many present and it was joyful to hear all the cheering and praises to our Lord as our brothers took a big step forward in their faith journey. And also we thank Dennis Ashley for helping us with the baptismal font and we thank our creator for blessing us with a beautiful afternoon. Also the recovery fest was a success and I say thank you all for helping hand out cold water and for offering prayers, prayers for those in need. Also uh, help me thank Christy Smith. Uh, she arrived extra early that day to set up the tent for the event. And uh, can we give her a round of applause for helping in that? Uh, on the back there, Hostin Foundation grants. I am pleased and blessed and fortunate to announce that Trinity United Methodist Church has received a total of 5,000. $500 from the foundation's grant committee. Uh, $4,000 will be used for the Union Primary School backpack meals and $1,500 will be used towards the updated multimedia system that we installed a couple, couple of months ago. Youth Sports Camp, this is a community effort. This is the second annual uh, uh, youth camp uh, scheduled here. From June 13th to the 17th, it will be at the Taylor Lewis Center in East Stone Gap. Uh, this camp will have boys and girls uh, from the fifth grade to the eighth grade, and they will have time to learn and grow through sporting instruction and also through Bible lessons. And if you want to volunteer, just let me know, or if you want to give some money or support in any kind of way, please see me. Lastly, the blessing box. We were grateful that Daniel Goodman came to install the blessing box. It's located on the corner over here to my left of the church property. Um, so we're thankful for that. And we pray that he will achieve uh, his goal in becoming an Eagle Scout. And if you want to leave any items to be placed in the blessing box, uh, there's a list of items there that you can uh, bring uh, and place in the box. Uh, lastly, uh, I see Angela Clendenning in the back, and uh, I want her to, to tell us all about how her and her family have been the hands and feet of Jesus Christ to the community. Can we get a microphone back there to our dear sister? <laughs> and talk about this. I don't know if many of you are friends with me on Facebook, but if you are, then you've seen what we do with our Angels League. And I'm not telling you about it today to ask you for anything. I'm telling you about it to offer you something. It is the biggest blessing that my family has ever had, and it is more of a church service than anything you will ever um, enter. It will bring chills to you every time you watch. So what we do is on Sundays from 2.30 to 4.30, at Cumberland League, they actually sponsor us. Um, 
we have baseball games, and it's birth to over 70 um, special needs individuals that come into play. We have traumatic brain injury, we have Down syndrome, we have a blind child, we have really everything. I can't express to you how much it will touch your heart to be part of it, and I'm always going out of the schools and offering this because I feel like inclusion is near and dear to my heart. And if you've had the opportunity, as Tim will tell me, to see my kids involved in this, you will understand that it has been a blessing to us to watch. Connor actually coaches and Bella volunteers every week, and we've done this for five years. We have 55 players right now, and um, I just invite you. We do baseball, and then we also do basketball. Baseball's last weekend is next Sunday, and it is at Coburn, and when I say volunteer, you can honestly just come, sit in the stands, and cheer them on. You will, you have no idea. Everybody always says, oh, I love what you do for the special needs community, but it's not like that at all. It's what the special needs community does for me. So I hope that you guys will consider being part of it, because it's great. Amen. Let's give God praise for that. Amen. Are there any other announcements in the house this morning? Good to have Lloyd Robinette back with us. Amen. Nicole and Noah are watching. Amen. I better behave. Anyone else? 